What's going on everybody? It's Larry O again and I'm back in the studio and today I wanted to show you guys how to mix and mostly EQ your beats from start to finish in FL Studio. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn the post notifications on if you get me. So I'm gonna start by playing a little bit of this beat for you guys and you can hear like the raw unmixed sound. Really just a couple of leveling things here that I've done, not much at all. Basically, I've already sent all these sounds to the mixer track. If you guys don't know how to do that, it's really simple. You could just click here, click on the track button, and it'll send it to the mixer track, and it will actually name it for you. If you wanted to do a bulk send, say if you had all of your samples in here and all of your sounds, and you wanted to send all of those at once, you can click here, highlight all of them, come over to the mixer, click on an empty mixer track, go down to channel routing and select route selected channels starting from this track that's going to drop all of your sounds in all at once and it's going to name them for you and then you can organize it from there now we're going to dive into this main synth start by adding an eq parametric eq2 also i'm going to try to do this with only stock plugins First thing I like to do is uh, cut the low end on this, like all the sub frequencies down here, because we're not going to need that on a, on a synth like this. Cut the three band a little bit on this. Because that's around where the kick drum is going to hit. We can give this side a little bit of a boost. We can cut this frequency. So what we're going to do here is we're going to loop this section so we can hear these two melodies together. There's this other bell melody right here. We can play these two sounds together from the playlist. So it depends what you want to really shine in your mix. I'm thinking here that I want to cut a little bit of the high end on those chords and let the highs peek through on that other bell sound. Let's open up an EQ on this sound. And let's look at those side by side. We can cut the lows. We're not gonna need any of that low. We can actually cut this frequency too because we want the other sound to shine around that area. That's not a bad start. Also, what I like to do with melodies, with synth melodies, is give them a little bit of stereo separation from the mixer. You can use a stereo enhancer plugin, but I don't like to go too overboard with that because it'll make almost too much space and you won't be able to hear it on mono systems as much. Do stereo separation on the bottom of this mixer right here. You can use this little knob. If you go to the left, it, it separates the stereo. If you go to the right, it makes it more mono. So on a lot of these melodies, these brighter melodies, I like to give them a little bit of a stereo spread. I have this other melody here. I forgot about this guy. We might get some clashing in this area right here with this melody. So I'm gonna separate the stereo a little bit. I'm gonna throw a parametric EQ on here. And we're going to listen to all three of those melodies together. So on this one, I'm thinking we're going to use a lot of mid lows. So I'm going to cut the lows sub frequencies because we're going to save that space for the 808 and the kick drum. I'm also going to cut the highs and the high mids on this one. I'm thinking I want to keep the mids and the mid lows in this. I'm going to throw the 808 in there and see what that sounds like all together with those three melodies and the 808. So it's 
not bad right out the gate, but let's throw an EQ on the 808. Give it a little bit of a boost in the sub frequency area. Maybe cut a little bit of the highs. But I like this I like this area over here. I like that area a lot with the 808 on this specific sample, so I want to keep that. Maybe boost the five band a little bit. Also, I'm gonna go into the mixer and on this 808, I'm gonna make this completely mono. Because with kicks and 808s and most of your drums, you're gonna want them hitting straight up the middle. And this is really just creating space. Mixing is all about creating space and making sure every little instrument has their own space in the mix. Which is why we're cutting low frequencies on sounds that will not really have to shine in that frequency range. Making the kicks and 808s completely mono is something that I do a lot. Every once in a while, I'll leave the stereo on them, but like, if it's a real uh, cluttered mix where there's a lot of stuff going on, I will make those 808s straight up the middle and make the mono along with the kick drum too. Now, let's hear the kick with the 808. We're gonna do some side chaining and EQ on the kick. I'm also gonna make the kick drum mono right now. I was gonna throw some side chaining on that, but I think it sounds pretty good without a side chain. I know like I preach side chaining all the time, but sometimes you don't need it. It sounds good the way it is. If you just like EQ a little bit of that frequency range out of the 808, where the kick drum is really shining. The hi-hat, we'll go to that. Open up an EQ. Just get rid of those lows. You don't really have to touch that. gonna do some leveling we just need a little bit of leveling like i said if you have good samples and you have good sounds you really don't need to overdo the plugins eq and a little bit of compression can go a long way a lot of people think like oh i need to mix my beat i need to use a compressor a limiter uh, a stereo enhancer a stereo shaper five eqs you really don't need all that stuff it's essential to get high quality samples if you get high quality drum samples the mixing that you're gonna have to do is gonna be very minimal. Especially with this beat, I had some great samples to start with, and I just did a little bit of EQ and a little bit of leveling, and that's really it. So I'm gonna play the full beat for you guys so you guys can hear the full finished mix on this one. Thank you again for watching. Drop a comment or a suggestion for another video down in the comments below. I appreciate everybody. Turn those post notifications on if you get me.